Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Oh, I got you guys inside of my cabinet right now. It was like the best place to kind of set up my phone here. So happy Vlogmas day 11. I cannot believe we are almost halfway through this month. I can't believe we're already on day 11 of Vlogmas. It's just crazy. So I just got off work a little bit ago. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I am so happy that you guys are enjoying a Vlogmas this year here on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the kind words and comments about everyone just loving the Vlogmas series this year. So yes, thank you guys so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. You guys really keep me motivated and keep me going every single day. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to just probably have a chill night tonight. I've been doing a lot lately and I'm really just ready for like just a nice like relaxing night. Oh, we have a visitor. Say hi, everyone. See what I mean? Literally, I put the camera on here and she just runs away. Like, oh, she is so camera shy. But we will get her to not be camera shy, hopefully, eventually. Yeah, she just, I love her so much. So that is my dog, Nova. She is a pit bull, bull mastiff. And she's like seven years old right now. And yeah, she is definitely the best thing ever. All right, so for dinner tonight, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna do some more pasta here. We got our pasta sauce. Uh, we have, we got our garlic bread here. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Just noodle sauce and bread. It's pretty fine with me. So, oh wait, I think we have, Yes, we still have meatballs, so I'm gonna add some meatballs as well. So we're gonna have spaghettis and meatballs again. So what I love about spaghettis and meatballs, you can eat it a couple of times throughout the week. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the bath. Let's just relax for a little bit. All right, so we just got out of the shower. I got my Merry Christmas PJs on. It's a couple weeks early, but I don't care. I love wearing these. I actually got these at Carter's, which is a kid's store. So crazy that you can actually find adult pajamas. And I have a ton of adult pajamas from the kid's store. So we are using the Dream Bright Body Butter tonight, you guys. I have to show you the amount of glitter that like comes off of this body butter. Whew. Look at all of that glitter. So yeah, just be very careful if you guys are buying the Glotion Body Butters. This is what happens. It gets all over the place, but I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, it's a little bit after seven now. I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner now that I am out of the bathtub. I am watching. Move like. Kimberly and Santos. Huh, so it's gonna come out like that. So check them out, you guys. Shop and more with Kimberly and Santos. They just hit 1,800 yeah, subscribers. Like Congratulations, you guys. All right, we got the meatballs warming up. We got the pasta water boiling, so we're gonna get the pasta in. We also have the garlic bread in the oven. So let me go ahead and get these open here. Woohoo! Might have. Catching pasta on fire. All right, gang, it is currently 9.04. And like I said, it's just been a nice, chill, relaxing day. I really needed today to just kind of just lay at home, relax, watch some YouTube, play some games, enjoy time with my mom and my brother and my dog. And yeah, that bath was like super relaxing. I loved that bath. So we're actually going to go ahead and have some fun and review some body care products. So we got a bunch of stuff here from Bath and Body Works. And I also have one little hand soap here from Scent Theory that I picked up at Walmart. So some of these uh, items here are from my body care haul. So that's super exciting. So let's go ahead and just grab some products and let's start talking about them here. So the first thing that I have here is the hair clay. So this is by Bath and Body Works. This is hair clay with vitamin B5. It's from the new men's line. And this hair clay is supposed to offer a lasting, buildable, and non-greasy hold that helps tame and style short to medium length hair. So I have it in now. I've had it in for a couple hours now. And I kind of like it, you guys. I like that it kind of holds my hair into place. It kind of has like that feeling of like, almost like that hair, not hair, yeah, hairspray. I was going to say hair clay. It reminds me of like hairspray or like mousse. 
So yeah, I really, really like it. It adds like a nice shine to my hair and it kind of just makes my hair look really, really good in my opinion. So I did add this to uh, my damp hair. So I added it to dry hair yesterday and I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I did actually like it inside of the damp hair. So this one, we'll have to keep trying it out. So far, I am liking it though. So there is the Bath & Body Works hair clay. It is retail $14.95. So you can pick this up with a reward or you can buy it at the price point sales that we just had that body care sale. That is where I picked that up at. And then the next thing that I have here is the hydrating face cream. So this is from the same men's line here. So this is for your face. It has hyaluronic acid. So this is the hair clay is two ounce little container. This comes in a four ounce container. And it says, let's see here, it doesn't really say, oh, maybe it's on the back here. Yeah, it says, lightly fragrance with lavender and sage. You definitely get lavender and sage. It says, hydrating face cream with hyaluronic acid instantly moisturizes, leaving skin feeling soft and looking healthy. And I have to say, I really do like it. You see that little shine there? Yeah, I feel like it definitely makes my face, like it has like a little glow on it. I feel like in the hydrating face cream, I get a lot more of that lavender, but it is like a nice little like white cream here. Super, super thin. So you can see here, definitely a really, really like thin formula. So it rubs right in. So yeah, I really, really like it. I definitely enjoy using it. You're supposed to use it every single day. And yeah, I think it looks really, really nice. Definitely hydrates my face and it feels really good. I've always been looking for something that like could hydrate my face throughout the winter time, especially in the winter time. So this is dermatologist tested, not tested on animals and vegan. This is, yeah, $14.95. So again, you can pick this up with a reward or pick it up at the $4.95 sales, the $5.95 sales, maybe semi-annual sale. And this hair clay here, this hair clay has that same like kind of white formula on the inside, but this is like super like thick. Like it is like really, really thick. It's almost like a, it's almost like a paste. So yeah, this one is definitely more thicker. It feels like almost like pretty much what I'm trying to say is it, it literally feels like clay. Definitely am enjoying both of those products. I have been enjoying the new like men's care line so much from Bath & Body Works. I'm loving the shampoo as well. I have the uh, face wash, the exfoliating face scrub. Definitely some good products. All right, the next thing that I wanted to talk about here is a older product, but you still might be able to find it in the stores. And that is the Dream Bright Bubble Bath. I love this packaging so much. Every time I bring up Dream Bright, I'm gonna talk about the packaging because it was the best packaging from 2022. So we have Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. Those are the scent notes. So it says our luxurious bubble bath pampers you with ultimate indulgence and irresistible fragrance. Bubble Bath features a beautiful pearlized formula, rich, creamy foam envelops you in lasting, ultra pampering lacy bubbles. Not, uh, yeah, not tested on animals and dermatologist tested. I definitely get more of like the sapphire berries and the crystallized vanilla. Yeah, I don't really get a whole lot of like that night blooming orchid. It's there, but it's not like as powerful as the berries and the vanilla. It kind of smells just like the body care, just a more like luxurious kind of smell since it is like a bubble bath. But I will have to say though, it didn't like produce that many bubbles. And I did use like more than half of this in my first bath. So I wouldn't say it produced a lot of bubbles. I thought it would produce like way more, but it did feel nice. I added the bath fizzy and some moisturizing body wash as well. Yeah, I love the smell. I love the idea. I love using it. Definitely uh, was not like hating on using it at all. It felt really nice. So I wouldn't say it produces the greatest amount of bubbles and it's not like a huge bubble bath, but definitely love this. I have plenty more of these in my collection, so I cannot wait to keep using these. So these are $18.50. So the bubble bath can be kind of hard to spot in the store. You really have to be looking for it. So it is on the body care wall. So check those out during the huge body care sales and semi-annual sale. All right, the next thing that I wanted to talk about here is the A Thousand Wishes and the shampoo and conditioner. 
So this has fragrance notes of pink Prosecco, sparkling Keynes, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. I have to say, this made my hair feel so soft and shiny and like, it just felt so silky. And the conditioner smells so good. You definitely get that amaretto cream, that Prosecco. Oh, it just smells like the Thousand Wishes body care. It smells so good. And then here we have the shampoo. The shampoo is definitely lighter than the conditioner, which I don't know, kind of makes sense in my opinion. The conditioner is supposed to be like the more kind of like hydrating and like more, um, like more conditioning, you know, more moisturizing. It says, this moisturizing conditioner detangles hair and locks in moisture for added softness and shine. Yeah, I feel like that's what it totally did. I definitely, I left it in my hair for a couple minutes. And this stuff is so good. I love the packaging. I love like the pink and white together. It just screams like a thousand wishes. And I love like the little heart here. Yes, the little heart here and wishes. So adorable. So yeah, the shampoo and conditioner is a win for me, you guys. I will definitely be picking up more of this. Hopefully I can find it at semi-annual sale. So let's see, 75% off of this would be like right around under $4, maybe $4.20. So yeah, definitely picking up more of these if I can get them. So they're made with vitamin B5, aloe, and vitamin E. And it says bottle made with 95% recycled plastic. The conditioner is made with 100% recyclable plastic, not tested on animals and vegan, made without sulfates, parabens, and artificial dyes. And they're both $16.95, so you can pick these up with rewards. Yeah, I think the next one that I want to try is the Into the Night one. I really want to get all of them just because they're also so cool looking for like a collection. Yeah, and these feel like, uh, I really feel like these were going to last really long. Uh, these are 16 fluid ounces, and I have like short hair, obviously. So I just don't think I'm going to have to use a bunch of this. So really exciting that the shampoo and conditioner will uh, probably last a little bit of a while. So yeah, those are definitely a win for me. I cannot wait to pick up some more. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about here is the Coco Shea Rich Moisture Body Oil. You guys, literally, I'm almost done with this one. It is down to here. So yeah, I only have like this much of the bottle left. This stuff is amazing. I'm so glad that I had Jasmine Bullard put me onto this because the body oil, it just, it has so much moisture properties in it and it really like locks in the fragrance. So we have body oil formulated with cocoa and shea butters for a silky rich moisture that quickly absorbs into dry skin. So I actually like to put this on my body when my skin's a little damp. It kind of helps uh, just absorb in that moisturization a little bit more. So this one, again, not tested on animals, which is amazing. Bottle is made with 50% recyclable plastic, made without parabens, artificial dyes. And this was $20.95. So I am so glad that I picked this up during the body care sale day. So this is not the actual one that I picked up. I picked up one during body care day. And then I picked up, I think like two or three when they were having that $5.95 sale. Uh, I think it was in November. It just smells like coconutty. It smells like shea butter. It smells so like rich and absolutely just so good. So yeah, Coco Shea Rich Moisture Body Oil. That is exactly what it is. And I hope that they bring back more of this because now that Body Care uh, Weekend is over, this is pretty much sold out. So hopefully we get more of that into the store and they don't get rid of it like they did a few years ago. All right, we have four more products. This is so much fun, you guys. Okay, let's see. What is What do I want to review next? Let's do the pocket back here. So we have the Gingerbread Bakery Pocket Back. So this is the one from last year, but I could only imagine that this is the same this year. I can't remember. I don't think I picked up this year's version yet, but I'm definitely going to eventually. Oh, just that gingerbread, that cookie note. It smells like brown sugar. It's like sugary vanilla gingerbread cookies. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It smells Christmassy, and I love the Christmas packaging on this one from last year. Stupid adorable. This has... I don't even know. Oh, it's okay. It's like a little squirrel. So we got like a little squirrel outside of the little gingerbread house with the snowflake. 
super adorable. So these are $1.95. I usually pick mine up at the dollar um, pocket back sales. Sometimes I'll find them for 75% off at semi-annual sale. Oh, it's just so delicious. It's super strong too. It definitely goes through like the air when I'm using it. Uh, when I'm at work, everyone looks at me and they go, oh, that smells so good. And I'm like, I know it's so good. So yes, you have to try Gingerbread Bakery. I know Stace in the Place and Philly Girl, they love this. They finally got their hands on it. It is so good. So I'm glad that everyone is enjoying that scent. It is like one of my favorites in the pocket bags. All right, the next thing, let's go ahead and finish out the two Bath & Body Works products, and then we'll talk about the Scent Theory hand soap. So let me do that one last. So let's go ahead and talk about the new Luminous little perfume rollerballer and lip gloss duo here. So what you're going to want to do for this one is you're going to unscrew in the middle, and the application for the lip gloss is actually going to be on the end here with the gold part, and it has a nice little like flat end to it. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it is. it has like a nice little flat end for you just to be able to apply. I love it. It has like a little bit of like shimmer to it. It's like a pearlized formula here. The little swab up here, the applicator is like super soft. Mm, it just feels so like silky and I can't really say there's a whole lot of fragrance in here though. Yeah, I can't really say there's a whole lot of like luminous. I'm not really smelling like floral. I'm not smelling that ruby currant or that praline amber. I'm not really getting that from the lip gloss, but the lip gloss is like a pearlized formula. Super cool it is. 0.16 ounces. Yeah, 0.16 ounces of lip gloss. And I think the perfume rollerballer is the same. Yeah, it says each. So you're getting 0.16 ounces in each little container here. So whereas the applicator for the lip gloss is inside the little gold cap here in the middle, the applicator for the rollerballer is actually on the end here of the actual, like, what is this part? The compartment here on the bottom. So it has like a little roller ball there and you'll just roll it right on to your hand there or wherever you can roll it like over here. Mm, smells so good. So I put this on about 15 minutes ago before I started the video. And on my wrist, it still smells good. I'm getting more, I think I'm getting a lot more of that praline amber still. I definitely get a hint of like that floral, but it's just so much of that ruby currant and that praline amber that is so good. It smells so like luxurious to me. It smells so like warm and like this is like a Christmas scent to me, like a holiday scent. This kind of, kind of like Dream Bright is. This one reminds me of like Dream Bright. Just a nice like Christmas, holiday, New Year scent. And I'm loving that warmthness from that praline amber. It has like a little bit of nuttiness to it. Yeah, Luminous is a one, you guys. Definitely am loving it. I'm so glad I finally was able to collect the little duo here. So the Lip Gloss Perfume Roller Baller is $18.95. So you cannot pick it up with a reward. So that is why I finally picked it up at the $4.95 Body Care Weekend Sale. All right, last Bath of Body Works product, you guys. Vanilla Bean Noel in the Whipped Body Butter. So this is 24 hour plus of moisture. It is shea butter and cocoa butter. And this is the whipped formula. So there's no glitter inside. It's like a nice, like almost like a cloud consistency. See how I kind of like push it in and it bounces back. That is awesome. So yeah, it's kind of like a little cloud consistency. Let me see if I can go ahead and put it on my hand here. And you can kind of tell here, it really just like melts right into my hand here. And boom, it is gone. And it feels so soft and like moisturizing. Oh, the body butter is amazing. It's like a 9 out of 10 for me this year. It could be a little bit more on like that vanilla bean, more like whipped cream for me, but I am loving like that kind of sugary caramel, like muskiness you get from it. Oh, it's just so good. It smells like a dessert. It smells like vanilla bean Noel should smell like. So this is $19.95. This is part of the holiday traditions this year, Vanilla Bean Noel. 
Love the little present up here. I love the green. I love the glitter. So we have scent notes here of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and a snow kiss musk. And it also says 24 plus hours of intense moisture, whipped, fluffy, and fast absorbing. You guys did see that. It is whipped. It is fluffy. It is fast absorbing. It smells amazing. I feel like the body butters really help the scent last longer when you're using like the shower gels and the scrubs and the mists and all that good stuff. The body butter really just helps lock in that uh, fragrance. So if you put on the body butter like on top of like an oil, you're definitely going to feel and like you're just going to smell yourself for like much longer than usual because we all know that Bath and Body Works find fragrance mists. Some of them are not long lasting. Yeah, this one, I definitely get the vanilla bean, that caramel, that muskiness. I get a little bit of that cookie whipped cream vibe, but I do wish it was a little bit more of like a, a more whipped cream, vanilla, like sugar cookie rather than that like caramel muskiness, but it's so good. It's warm and yeah, vanilla bean Noel is really, really good this year. I hope you got your hands on the body butter. All right, last thing you guys, the Scent Theory Vanilla Bliss Hand Soap. So we have fragrance notes of vanilla bean, rich caramel, and whipped cream. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the vanilla bean Noel body butter, huh? And it smells like vanilla bean Noel, you guys. Without like the muskiness. So this has more of like that vanilla bean, whipped cream, sweet goodness. So that is what I'm getting from Vanilla Bliss here. So this is from Scent Theory. I got this at Walmart. I think this was like, what was this? Like two or three dollars maybe? I can't remember. Uh, but this is a eight fluid ounce uh, container bottle here. I'm pretty sure Bath & Body Works comes in an eight fluid ounce bottle as well. And it says here on the back, add a dash of cheer and a hint of winter wonder to your home with our Scent Theory holiday collection. So they did have about five or six of them. This was the only one that kind of intrigued me. So I have to say, it's not like as good as Bath & Body Works foaming hand soaps, in my opinion. It smells really, really good, and it smells like good when you're washing your hands, but the uh, the scent here dissipates pretty quickly after you're done washing your hands, whereas uh, some of the Bath & Body Works hand soaps, they actually stay on my hands. So the Vanilla Bliss foaming hand soap from Scent Theory, I'll give it like, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I love the packaging. I love like that blue. That's honestly what kind of drew me to this as well is like the really like nice wintry like blueness. And where is the snow you guys? Like we are on December 11th and we still do not have snow in Columbus, Ohio. Like I want my snow. Yes. So this smells really, really good. So yeah, kind of like a I want to say like a deceptive product, but it definitely smells really good in the bottle. But out of the bottle, after you use it, eh, not that great. So I give it like a 5 out of 10. So the packaging definitely helps that 5 out of 10 as well. But I love this scent. I just wish it was uh, more, just more powerful after using it. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Woohoo! We just reviewed 10 products. That was so much fun. So it is 9.25. The night is still early. We are going to have to see what uh, happens the rest of the night. Uh, I could be up for a few more hours. So who knows what we are in store for tonight. So I was going to rearrange my room and I was like... That is just too big of a project, so we'll have to do that like on one of our next days off. So look forward to having that Vlogmas video up. Uh, let's see. You guys, I'm so behind. I don't even have my Christmas tree up yet. Ah! I can't believe I don't have my Christmas tree up yet. It's December 11th. Like Time is just flying by, though. And then after like we were working so much and then just, I don't know. I just can't find the time to put my tree up. So we're almost done decorating the whole apartment though. And my, our stuff will probably stay up in the apartment even through January as well. Uh, maybe even February. Who knows? We're not really ever in a rush to take down our Christmas and our holiday stuff. Because the snow really does come in like January and February sometimes here. 
So yeah, we're still decorating. We're still having fun. We're still enjoying the holidays. There's no need to rush anything. So hopefully you guys are enjoying your holiday season. I really do hope you are. Hopefully you guys are just, you know, having the best time ever. And if it is stressful out there, which I know it is, just take a deep breath and you got this. You are the best. You are confident you can do this. So thank you guys so much for enjoying me here on this little review. It was uh, so much fun. So we are going to go ahead and continue our night here. I think I'm going to hop on the video game here and we are just going to see what happens. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, gang, it is 1.40 in the morning. Yes, I am a night owl. If you guys were wondering at all, I love the nighttime. I would rather sleep all day and be up all night. That's just how I've always been, honestly, since I was even a little kid. So yeah, but it is almost two o'clock in the morning. So I think we are going to head to bed finally. We'll probably watch like an hour or two of YouTube and then head off to bed. So day 11 was fun, relaxing, simple. I absolutely loved it. Uh, we got to review 10 products, which was a lot of fun. It was like a uh review frenzy that was just like yeah so much fun so thank you guys so much for joining me on vlogmas day 11 i cannot wait to see you guys on day 12 uh who knows what we're gonna end up doing tomorrow i think i'm gonna take the day off so i think i might be in the mood to watch a movie i want to i definitely want to film a video put out a regular video it's been so long since i just put out like a regular video but I definitely have a topic that I really want to talk about. I think it could be really important to talk about. So yes, that will definitely be tomorrow's agenda at least. So thank you guys so much for being here. Vlogmas night 11, day 11. I love you guys so much. You guys are the best community ever. I appreciate everyone watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. It is just absolutely amazing. We are almost at 1,800 subscribers. As soon as we hit 1,800 subscribers, you guys, we are going to do a giveaway. Another $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. I cannot wait. So tap that subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. Join the gang. We have so much fun over here. So I hope you guys have a great night or a great day. And I will see you in the next Vlogmas. Woohoo!